Hey guys, what's up? It's Laura Ventura with Pause and All, and today I'm going to show you guys some simple steps on how to get a perfect poodle head. Now, this is James. He is a standard poodle, but he's not in a standard poodle cut. He's more in a two comb all over, but I'm still going to shape his head like a standard poodle. Now, I'm going to go in with my straights, and what I'm concentrating on here is creating a very straight line a very straight vertical and horizontal line on his sides and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. By the way, I will link these shears below. Now before I start scissoring the sides, what I do is I comb all his hair over to the side that I'm going to scissor on. So when I'm shaping the sides, I always look at it from the back. I look at it from the front and from the side just to make sure that my line is nice and crisp. I'm also making sure that I'm taking that line so it's blended to his clean face. And when I say clean face, I mean his shaved face. So it doesn't look like a mushroom head. Okay, so when I am done with that, what I'll do is I'll take my comb and I'm going to fluff out the top of his head. I'm going to grab my curves and now I'm going to start scissoring his head in a circle. Now, because the body is short, I have to blend the top knot to his body. So I'm concentrating also on blending the back of his head to his body. Now, if he was in a traditional poodle cut, he would have a neck that would help his fluffy head blend into his body. But because he's a two comb all over, I just have to go ahead and blend his head to his body. All right, so the front of his head, what I do is I take the comb and I brush out all those little hairs and I'm gonna go ahead and create another little half of a circle that's going to blend to his sides. Now, when I do this, I wanna take all the little hairs out the front of his eyes. James has beautiful eyes, which you'll be able to see them later on in this video. Um, but I also don't want his, the front of his head to look too boxy. I want it to look round, and I also don't want it to look like a straight lineup. All right, guys, so after I'm done with that, I'm going to comb out all the little hairs on top of his head, and I'm going to concentrate on rounding out the top of his head so it is blended to the back, to the sides, and to the front. I don't want to take too much hair off. I just want to shape it nice and round. this point what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing all the little hairs that I feel like are out of place and I'm just tightening up his top knot a lot more I'm going to just flip his ear over just to make sure that everything is blending into his neck and into his face all right now I am grabbing my chunkers and I'll go ahead and list these below and I'm going over everything I did with these thinning shears so I could go ahead and blend some more. I groom James I just take a second to just admire his beauty he's so handsome and he's such a good boy poodles are by far one of the most rewarding dog breeds to groom because their hair is just so fluffy, especially if you bathe them and dry them correctly and brush them out correctly. It could be just so rewarding to see the fruits of your labor because they are a lot of work, especially when they're in full coat. But wow, they are just stunning. They're majestic creatures, really. And they're so much fun to sculpt and to scissor. And you can do so many designs on them. All right, 
guys, this is it. He is all done. I have to do his ears still, but I just wanted to show you guys the top of his head. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This process could be so therapeutic for you and the dog. Um, as you can see, he's sleepy, and I hope you guys learned something new. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment below. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.